Good morning, Key Stage One. Hello and happy Thursday. Um, I hope you've all been enjoying all the learning that we've been sending through this week, linked to the story of the snail and the whale. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have been sending through photographs of your work and of your learning through to all of your teachers. And it's been so lovely to look through and see all of the learning that you've been doing at home and all the different ways that all of you have had a go at each of those challenges. Today, I've got a brand new idea of a challenge that I would like you to do. Now, when I was looking at the story of the snail and the whale, I noticed that there was lots and lots of either geographical vocabulary, which means words linked to the geography in the book, or as I was exploring the pictures, there were lots of really interesting things which you might not know what they are called. So what I have done on the left hand side here is I have picked out some of the key words that I think are either new or I would like you to revisit. I've put a little picture of what they all look like next to them. So I'll go through this list now. We've got an island, a cliff, beach, coast, sea, river, mountain, hill, volcano, forest, and jungle. So all of these things and all of these places are in the story of the snail and the whale. On the right hand side, I've got a sentence which is a definition, which means it defines, it tells you what a word means. So on the right hand side, are all of the definitions and you've got to match the correct definition to the correct word. So let's have a go at one together. A piece of land surrounded by water, which means that the water goes all the way around the land. Is that an island? Is that a cliff? Is that a beach, a coast, a sea, or a river? You're right, it's the island. So what you would do here is you would draw a line to match the island to this sentence, which tells you what it means. A piece of land surrounded by water. Let's choose another one. I'm gonna choose one which I definitely know. Ah, the sea. Hmm, which one tells me about the sea? Oh, here it is, a large area of salt water, because we know that the sea is made out of salt water. So you would need to draw a line from the definition to the picture of the sea. And I'd like you to do that for all 12 of these pictures. Now, if you get stuck, that's absolutely okay. I'd like you to use the internet to help you find out what the definitions are for each of these things. Now, you can either, like I've just explained to you, draw a line from the word to the definition, or you might want to cut out all of the words with the pictures, cut out all of the sentences, all those definitions, have them all spread out on a table or on the carpet at home and have a go at matching the name to its definition. Once you have done that, I would love to see whether you have got them right, so send them through to me. And that is your Thursday challenge. Have a brilliant time finding out what all of these places are and what they mean. And once you know, you'll be able to understand the story of the snail and the whale a little bit more. Have a brilliant time researching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.